Hello, everyone. I'm Julie Kaverian, and I'm excited to welcome you all to the What's New in V26.1 Bricks CAD Lighten Pro for 2D Drafting Breakout Session. This breakout covers eight of the many new and improved features in Bricks CAD Lighten Pro. I'll be focusing mostly on 2D drafting tools for general design that help you deliver your projects faster. Let's take a look. From the moment you launch BricsCAD V26, you'll notice exciting updates designed to simplify and enhance your experience, starting with a new launcher. We've streamlined the interface with fewer workspaces into a single ribbon while still offering flexibility to suit your needs. Here's what's new in workspaces. The 2D drafting workspace features the classic ribbon from V25. 2D Drafting Modern is the updated Modern Ribbon, also from V25. Modeling is optimized for 3D design workflows. Civil Survey is tailored specifically for Civil Survey tools. And Toolbars Classic is a toolbar-focused workspace without a ribbon. Your workspace selection will automatically update the ribbon to match your preferred workflow. Whether you're drafting in 2D, working on complex models, or focusing on civil survey projects, BricsCAD offers a workspace built just for you. The Look From widget's been redesigned on Windows and Mac iOS operating systems with a modernized look, improved feedback, and dynamic repositioning. When the mouse passes over the widget, arrows display for standard views. To set your own view, click and drag to rotate the view freely. Or click on a face or a corner of the cube to snap to a preset view. The new Look From widget works in paper space, too. Once the viewport is active, the widget appears. It behaves the same in paper space or model space. If you prefer the previous Look From widget, it's still available. Set the Use New Look From system variable to zero and restart BricsCAD. The QT-based status bar introduced in V25 is now the default, offering a more familiar user interface. If you prefer the previous status bar, change the Use New Status Bar system variable to zero, and again, you'll need to restart BricsCAD. This drawing represents scaffolding around the submarine that we saw in the keynote session. It's a 2D elevation. Now, as you may know, many workflows include working with blocks, and the scaffolding drawing is no different. I've switched to a CST in the structure browser that sorts the drawing by block name. This makes it easy to see all the blocks contained in the drawing. But not everything is a block. One of the ledgers is still simple entities. Now, have you ever wondered why Blockify wasn't part of the Create Block tool? Well, so did we, and now it is. Let's take a look. Open the Create Block tool to define a new block. Start by giving your block a name and selecting the entities you want to include. Be sure to enable the Background Scanned option so BricsCAD can check for matching block definitions. If found, you can opt to use the existing block to prevent duplicates from being created. Now the toe boards are still all entities. Let's create a new block for them. Again, start by creating a block with the background scan option enabled. After BricsCAD scans the drawing, it finds duplicates of that block definition. You can choose to run Blockify or not, but why wouldn't you? The Blockify panel opens just like when you run Blockify on its own. You can zoom in on matches, move around the drawing, and decide which matches to turn into blocks. One, some, none, or all. The new Command Preview System variable allows you to enable or disable Command Previews for trim and extend operations. This is turned off by default, so be sure to enable it from Settings. Here's how it works. With the Trim command active, hover over the entity to trim. The segment to be trimmed is highlighted in gray, so it's easy to see what is to be removed. Then, click the left mouse button to trim it. This also works for extending entities. 
but use the Shift key to see how the entity will extend. The improvements let you see the result in real time before completing the command, saving you time and clicks. We've enhanced the selection workflow in Quick Select to make it faster and more efficient. A key improvement is the ability to make multiple selections without leaving the QSelect dialog box. This makes it easy to move the scaffolding diagonals from multiple layers, all to a single layer, using rollover tips. With the structure browser sorted by block name, we see that there are several block names starting with BAS. Thanks to improved filtering in QSelect, you can now use wildcards in plain text properties. This means you can easily search for all those block names that start with the letters BAS. Simply select the wildcard match operator and enter your search criteria to quickly isolate the desired blocks. Measure Geom dynamically displays distances and angles directly on screen as you move your cursor over entities in a plan view. Notice how the cursor automatically changes to full screen mode to make it easier to see the measurements. Move the cursor into the polygon to see the lengths and angles at each corner or into the circle to display the radius. Measure GM calculates measurements on single or multiple entities. In this example, we'll display the area of the single polygon at the command line. And in this example, we'll calculate the total combined area for both the circle and the polygon. Popping into an isometric view, we see that there is a 3D box in the drawing. You can find the volume of 3D entities while still in plan view. For instance, we can calculate the volume of that box. Or if you need the volume of a rectangle, specify the height of a 2D entity and BricsCAD will calculate the volume. And when you need the mass properties of that box, for example, you can display it at the command line or write the results out to your text file of choice. The reverse command is a tool that allows you to reverse the order of vertices. The start point of this line is at the bottom. After running reverse, the start point is at the top, and notice the HW text has reversed. Now reverse works with lines, polylines, splines, and helixes by effectively flipping their direction. The reverse command provides a fast and easy way to change the direction of your geometry, helping you work faster and making your designs more accurate. 26.1 introduces significant updates to streamline 2D drafting workflows, improve precision, and save time. With enhanced tools like Blockify integration, real-time command previews, dynamic measurement features, and workspace flexibility, you can deliver your projects faster and more efficiently. To learn more about the new and improved features in BricsCAD 26.1, be sure to watch these other breakout sessions. And scan this QR code to discover more about 26.1.